Hey everyone, back down here at the grow house, giving you a little bit of an update on the heating situation, if you will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this camera around, give you a little peek season and what's going on here today, and uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so what we got going on today, right now it's about 37 degrees outside. Um, last night I think it dipped down to about 28 degrees outside. Inside it didn't get below 30 I'm going to say 39, 38 or so. And I do owe it all to this guy here, the BioGreen Palma and the thermostat, the Thermo 2 that comes with it as an option. Now you'll see here I have plugged in, I have that plugged into here. This is just a wattage usage meter and um, you're able to program your uh, cost per watt uh, or kilowatt. So uh, right now I have it in there as our, I believe our current rate is around 14 cents, I think, uh, almost 15 cents. So I have that programmed in here. So since I've had this plugged in for about a week, uh, it's only cost us about $4.50, which is really nice. Now the whole point of this was to run after the rocket stove stops burning. So I actually just came down here. Uh, I've had it going since this morning, so I just added a new batch of wood in here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Slide that brick, and that's gonna give a nice slow burn, which is really nice. Uh, I've been trying a couple different things here. You'll see I have this piece of metal. Uh, let's see if this is cool to touch. Yes, it's cool to touch. This is my primitive form of a what's called a P channel. It's named after. Peter, I think it's uh, Vandenberg, I think. I don't think it's Vandenberg. A guy who gave uh, this model of adding a spacer in here to allow just for air to go in. And uh, it works, I do like it, um, but it doesn't slow down the burn enough for me. So I like just doing it this way. Um, you know, load it up and then just cover it and uh, that gives a nice slow burn. Um, it's not, it's still not slow enough for my liking, but it is still something that's better than nothing. And uh, let me go ahead and we'll give a little temperature reading here. So on top, that top brick is saying 166, but the metal underneath it is 236 there and about 295 there these bricks are they usually i don't ever see them really going above 180 they usually hold pretty good so that's that's um which is fine as long as they're more stable they'll they last longer than the metal for sure uh down there at the bottom those bricks are 220 230 around 2.30. This one's directly over the fire. They get really hot. Yeah, it's directly over a live flame right now. So, But that's been working great. Um, my wife started a bunch of seeds and they happen to be flourishing. Every single one of them. Let's see what we got here. If I can read her writing. Uh, let's see. We got cabbage, broccoli, uh, oh, broccoli, some deep purple, clementus. So we got a bunch of stuff there. Uh, some kale, some more spinach. So a bunch of stuff. Got this little little buds in here. Um, and then back over to here. I think this was spinach is still doing good. Everything is nothing has died out here, which is really nice. Um, I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I wanted to give a quick update on the on the on the heater. It's been doing very very well. I like it. Um, I'll put up a, a graph here to show uh, how it does the temperatures at night. Essentially, I think I have this program to kick on at, what did I say, 40? Yeah, 44. Um, 44, this will kick on, and then you can adjust this to how long the actual heater runs. Um, the fan on this runs all the time if, it's, if, it's, if you don't have it hooked up to a thermostat which was something I didn't know when I bought it. That's why I bought, I ended up buying them separately, but this has the fan will run. And then once it reaches your temperature that you select on here, 
then it will, uh, the heater kicks on. And then once it reaches the temperature, then a the heater kicks off and the fan keeps going, which is nice because in a greenhouse, you do kind of want some airflow, which is uh, air movement, which is good for it. Um, so that's why I ended up going with their Thermo 2 thermostat that uh, helps regulate a little bit better in here. And I so I have it set for 44 and that sensor goes up top here to the very top and along with my little Govee sensor. So they're about, I think they're about a degree and a half difference between the two. And, uh, but that's where I have that located. It's pretty central. It's about the center of the greenhouse, um, but also it's high up. So obviously down lower, it's gonna be a little cooler than up top there, um, but that's fine. Uh, other than that, everything's been going good out here. Pretty happy with everything. I still need to get the insulating board for behind the wood stove. Um, and I think we're gonna, she's gonna need another table here soon. She'll, pr I'll probably build one over here. I'm not exactly sure yet, but um, this has to go. This was a, our original heat sink that I had in the middle full of water. It's empty now. I just haven't had a place to put it yet. So I'm getting there, but um, other than that, yeah, everything's been going good out here. So that's the only updates I have for now. Liking it so far, I got a bunch of pallet wood. Uh, I'm gonna be taking down a maple here, two maples. So I'll have some small branches that I can use for firewood in here. Um, but I'm gonna keep my eye out for pallet wood. That stuff happens to be burning pretty well. I like it. It burns fast, it's cheap wood, but it's dry and it's free. So, <laughs> can't really go wrong with that. But it's all the updates I got for now. Until next time.